In July 2025, the Alapiki Imaging Instrument at the Gemini North Observatory revealed the first strong evidence of a companion star orbiting the famous star Betelgeuse. This discovery shocked scientists around the world. However, at that time, researchers said they needed more observations to fully confirm the companion's existence, so the study continued. Now, a team from the Center for Astrophysics Harvard and Smithsonian has discovered something even more mysterious. They observed a massive, dark, tail-like structure moving through Betelgeuse's upper atmosphere. This strange structure suggests that something unusual is happening in the star's atmosphere. After closely studying these new observations, scientists believe the companion star may be interacting with Betelgeuse in a very strange way. According to researchers, this behavior could mean that something major is about to happen. Betelgeuse is already in the final stage of its life and is rapidly expanding, and what these new observations are showing is deeply worrying. So what exactly is this long, dark tail? What have scientists recently discovered about the companion star? Is Betelgeuse starting to engulf it? And does this mean a supernova could happen sooner than expected? What would happen if a star near us suddenly exploded? It's an exciting but slightly scary thought. In fact, about 2.6 million years ago, a star actually did go supernova fairly close to Earth, only about 150 light years away. Scientists believe that this explosion may have played a role in a mass extinction event, especially affecting large marine animals at the time. Today, the star closest to us is the Sun, but there's no need to worry about it exploding. Our Sun is a stable star in the middle of its life and scientists say it won't reach the explosive stage for billions of years. But not all stars are like the Sun. Some are much bigger, hotter, and more violent. These massive stars do end their lives in powerful explosions. And yes, a few of them are relatively close to Earth. Stars like Spica, Antares, and Rigel are all huge and old enough to potentially go supernova someday. However, even though they are considered nearby in astronomical terms, they're still hundreds of light years away from us, which means Earth is not in any real danger if they explode. But the light from their explosions would be visible from Earth, so bright it might outshine the moon for days or even weeks. Among these stars, one in particular has caught the attention of astronomers worldwide is Betelgeuse. It's a massive red supergiant located in the constellation Orion, about 642 light years from Earth, meaning the light we see from it today left the star about 600 years ago. Interestingly, we don't know its exact distance, but it's in that ballpark. If Betelgeuse had already exploded in a supernova within the last 600 years, the light from that explosion would still be traveling towards us. In other words, it's possible that Betelgeuse has already exploded centuries ago, and we could see the explosion at any time, even tomorrow. Still, no one really knows when Betelgeuse will explode. For the past few years, it has continued to show strange and unusual activity that made many scientists believe the end might come sooner than expected. But the more they study it, the more surprises they find. Scientists have discovered that Betelgeuse has dimmed in three different ways over time, and each type of dimming seems to be caused by a different reason. The most surprising of these was something called the Great Dimming, when the star's brightness suddenly dropped by about 35%. That's a huge change for a star, and it left astronomers shocked, because stars don't usually dim that much without a serious reason. At first, no one knew what was happening, but after studying it more closely, scientists realized that Betelgeuse had ejected a massive cloud of dust from its surface. As this dust moved in front of the star and cooled down, it blocked some of the light coming from the star, making it look much dimmer from Earth. Another type of dimming that scientists have seen in this star is a regular pattern of light changes that repeats every 400 days. This isn't caused by dust or anything outside the star. It actually comes from inside. Betelgeuse is a red supergiant. And like many stars of its kind, 
it experiences internal pulsations. These are slow, rhythmic expansions and contractions in the star's outer layers, kind of like a heartbeat. As the star swells up and then shrinks again, its brightness changes slightly. The 400-day brightness cycle is believed to be Betelgeuse's main pulsation rhythm, and it's one of the key ways scientists study the inner workings of this giant star. In some cases, strange or changing pulsations can hint that the star is entering the final stage of its life. While Betelgeuse's 400-day pulsation alone doesn't mean it will explode soon, it could be a sign that the star is slowly heading toward its ultimate fate, a supernova. These pulsations are like whispers from the star's core, and scientists are listening carefully. And now, let's talk about the third kind of dimming that scientists have seen in Betelgeuse. This one is the most mysterious of all. It happens about once every six years, and no one could figure out why. Unlike the other dimmings, this pattern didn't match anything going on inside the star like internal pulsations. It also didn't seem to be caused by dust clouds. For years, this six-year cycle of light fluctuations puzzled astronomers. Then, some researchers came up with an interesting idea. What if Betelgeuse isn't alone? What if there's a smaller companion star orbiting very close to it, and every few years, that star affects the light we see from Earth? They ran computer models and calculations and predicted that if such a companion exists, it might be one to two times the mass of our sun and orbit fairly close to Betelgeuse. But there was a problem. Betelgeuse is so huge and bright that spotting a much smaller, dimmer star right next to it is extremely difficult. However, Using a special instrument called Alopiki, attached to the powerful Gemini North Telescope in Hawaii, scientists were finally able to spot something extraordinary. They directly observed a faint companion star near Betelgeuse. They named it Siwara. This star is about 1.6 times the mass of the Sun and orbits Betelgeuse at a distance of roughly four astronomical units. That's four times the distance between Earth and the Sun. In comparison, Jupiter orbits the Sun at about 5.2 AU, so Sawara is even closer to Betelgeuse than Jupiter is to our Sun. Based on its orbit, scientists found that Sawara circles around Betelgeuse once every 5.94 years, which lines up almost perfectly with the strange six-year light fluctuations observed earlier. But that's not the only surprise. Siwara isn't a fully developed star. It's what scientists call a pre-main sequence F-type star, which means it's still very young and hasn't started nuclear fusion in its core yet. In simple terms, it hasn't turned on like a normal star. What's fascinating and strange is that Siwara and Betelgeuse were likely born at the same time from the same cloud of gas and dust. Yet, while Betelgeuse has lived its entire life and is now nearing the end, Sawara's life hasn't even properly begun. This shows us just how different stars can be, depending on their size. Larger stars like Betelgeuse burn hot and live fast, reaching the end of their lives in just a few million years. Smaller stars like Sawara take much longer to grow and develop. In fact, Scientists now believe that Sawara may never fully become a star. It might remain forever in this early, inactive state. But in recent observations, scientists discovered that Sawara is orbiting extremely close to Betelgeuse's upper atmosphere. As Sawara moves through Betelgeuse's vast extended atmosphere, it disturbs the surrounding gas and creates a wake, a trail of denser material behind it, much like how a boat creates ripples as it moves through water. This wake changes the light we see from Betelgeuse, especially its spectrum. Scientists believe this effect can explain the long-term dimming of Betelgeuse that happens roughly once every six years. But this raises an important question. Can this huge cloud of gas and dust slow down Sawara over time and cause it to slowly fall into Betelgeuse? And since Betelgeuse itself is expanding, is it gradually engulfing its companion? Well, the answer is 
possibly, but not right now. Betelgeuse's outer atmosphere is extremely thin, so the gas and dust there exert only a very weak effect on Siwara's motion. At present, Siwara continues to orbit a star that has already reached the final stages of its life. Scientists predict that Betelgeuse will go supernova sometime within the next 100,000 years, most likely leaving behind a neutron star. But before that happens, Betelgeuse's intense gravity is expected to pull its smaller companion star inward and eventually devour it. Scientists say we are completely safe from this future supernova explosion. When it eventually happens, it will light up the night sky and may even shine brighter than the moon. Events like this are extremely rare in human history, and witnessing one would be truly extraordinary. So let's hope we get to see such a breathtaking event in our lifetime. That's all about Betelgeuse and its companion star. Thanks for your time and have a great day.